how to use a service to quickly resize images on your Mac. As someone who blogs every single day, I find myself resizing images often, and I like to export screenshots from Final Cut Pro, and since I shoot in 4K, the dimensions are 3840 by 2160 for the images that I export onto my desktop. That's fairly large, and it's gonna not only result in a large picture dimension-wise, but also file size-wise. The good news is that you can use Automator to create a handy service so that you can easily resize these files right there on the fly, right from your desktop. So what we'll do is we'll just launch Automator and then select service and then choose that. Now at the top, you'll see service, receive, selected. You wanna choose image files. And then on the left under actions, choose files and folders. And then you'll see get specified finder items. So just drag that over. All right, once you do that, then you wanna head back over to the actions section and this time we wanna choose photos. And then you should see scale images. You wanna just drag over scale images. And once you do that, you're gonna be prompted to add a copy finder items action. This is so that you don't overwrite the file when you resize it. I'm gonna choose don't add. I'm just gonna overwrite, I don't care. Uh, but you may want to choose to copy the files if you don't want them overwritten. The next thing you wanna do is to select scale images and then you want to give the dimension size that you want to resize to. I'm gonna choose 1920 since I'm working with a 16 by nine file. That will give me a nice full HD image. Now I'll just save and then give it a name. I'm gonna call it resize and then click save. All right, so we're done with automator. So you can just minimize there. And now we just need to right click on the image that we want to resize, select services, and then click resize. Right there. Once you click resize, it's gonna resize right there on the fly. You're not gonna have any prompts or anything to deal with. It just does it. Now if we get info, you're gonna see the size has been changed both in file size and dimensions. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.